is Jeremy Reed. Uh, I'm doing a presentation on how to change your oil. If you guys ever wondered why cars have issues and they're always pulled over on the side of the road, well, you should always make sure to change your oil at the right time, otherwise this could happen to you. Yeah, you should. I'll be sure they So even good, well, good, well-made cars like the Mercedes can blow up if they aren't taken well care of. Hit from the beginning. I don't even know how to stop. Right there. There you go. <laughs> then just click it. on it, each one. Um, so changing your oil. No, this isn't real oil. It's cheese oil. <laughs> But I'm going to be talking to you today about what kind of oils you should use, what the difference between the three main oils are, um, how to choose which oil to put in your car, when to change your oil, and how often to change it. The types of oil, there's full synthetic, which technically is super, is the best possible oil you can get but you don't use it in a Geo Metro or something that leaks a lot. You use it in more of a race car because it's the thinnest, it's the most, it's the most viscous, I think that's the word, um, oil possible. And then there's semi-synthetic, which is what 99% of people have in their vehicles. It's 10W30, 5W30, all it is, is it's a mixture between mineral and fully synthetic. What it is, is fully synthetic is, or synthetic is made by somebody in a lab coat in a back, or in a laboratory somewhere. And mineral is straight from the earth. It's oil that you get from the earth. And the mineral oil is your generic oil that everybody can go get and put in their car. It's not the best, it's not the worst, it's just oil that you can get. How often do you change it? How often do you drive? Anybody, how often do you drive a day? 20 miles. 20 miles a day? How do you drive? Pretty fast. Okay, now where do you drive? To and from work and school. What kind of roads are those? Pretty smooth. One was a highway though. And what's your average speed, would you say? <clears throat> probably 55. Okay, you'd probably be changing your oil every 25 or 2,500 to 3,000 miles. The way you can, the way you know these things is, it's there's no real guide to knowing how and when to change your oil. You just need to learn through your through working with your car by looking at it and telling how it's running. Don't say I'm going out and driving in Cuna every single day in the dirt roads and all that. I'm gonna have to change my oil more often because it gets dirtier, because all oil does is it keeps the moving parts inside your engine slick and from grinding together. And dirt's gonna stop that. It's gonna make your engine all cruddy. And the oil will turn into lumps and chunks. So it all depends on how you drive. And when should you change your oil? Your, your oil filter, actually. Your oil filter should be changed. Every Most people will do it at the same time as they change the oil. Uh, a lot of hardcore like racers I know, they will change their oil filter almost monthly. But that's because it's the same thing as the oil. You change it based on your driving style. And those are some common oil filters. And how to change your oil. How many people in here know how to change oil in their car? Okay. How many people, how many of you guys have actually done it? 
the main things you need for changing your oil is jack stands, a jack of course, an oil pan, soccer wrench, and the one that's not up there, oil. But that's a good one. First, you need to lift the car into the air and pull out the, the pan screw. There's no technical term for it, really. You pull it out with the wrench. And then when you're done with that, you put the pan under it, catch the oil, put the oil in, most people put it in a milk carton or milk jug or something like that to put it out the end of the street when trash day comes. Or you do like I do and everybody I know, you take it to get it recycled, which is better for the environment. <laughs> And before you do any of this, make sure get your car has been off for a good hour. It gets very hot. And then when you're all done draining it, cleaning it out, you put the screw back in, fill it back up, and change your oil filter. And there's the screw, and there's your oil filter. And there's another oil filter. And you change your oil. There's nothing more to it than that. Always, before you change your oil, you want to know what kind of oil to put in your car, how often you're driving it, how you drive it, and when to, how often to change your oil, basically. And if you don't know how to change your oil, uh, go to how, howstuffworks.com and type in car maintenance. They are a great site for step-by-step -step oil 